What is SAPABAP? The question could be broken down into two sub questions. What is SAP and what is ABAP? Let's talk about SAP. SAP is an enterprise resource planning software known as ERP. An ERP software provides end to end solution to manage information within an enterprise. A typical ERP software consists of modules. Modules are used by departments of the company to manage their day to day operations. Modules are integrated, meaning information is shared among them. The data could flow from one module to the other. Now let's talk about what is ABAP. ABAP is a programming language. Created and maintained by SAP AG, the creator of SAP ERP software. It is the main programming language used in SAP ERP environment. The term ABAP stands for Advanced Business Application Programming. Originally it was used to stand for a German phrase meaning General Report Creation Processor. It is considered to be a high-level programming language like C and Java. ABAP is one of the many application-specific fourth-generation languages developed in the 1980s. It is currently positioned, alongside the more recently introduced Java, as the language for programming the SAP Application Server. SAP Application Server is a part of NetWeaver platform for building business applications. The programming is syntax is similar to that of COBOL. It was originally the report language for SAP R2. SAP R2 was a platform that enabled large corporations to build mainframe business applications. The applications were mainly used for materials management and financial management. ABAP was one of the first languages to include the concept of logical databases. Known as LDB, logical databases provide high-level abstraction for databases. The ABAP language was originally used by developers to develop the SAP R3 platform. SAP R3 is the next generation of SAP ERP software. After SAP R2, it was also intended to be used by SAP customers to enhance SAP applications. Customers could develop custom reports and interfaces with ABAP programming. It is not a tool for direct use by non-programmers, as it requires programming skills. The language is fairly easy to learn for programmers. Knowledge of relational database design and also of object-oriented concepts is necessary to create EBIT programs. All ABAP programs reside inside the SAP database. They are not stored in separate external files like Java or C programs. In the database all ABAP code exists in two forms. Source code. Generated code. Source code can be viewed and edited with the ABAP Workbench tools. Generated code is a binary representation of source code. It could be compared to Java byte code. ABAP programs execute under the control of the runtime system, which is part of the SAP kernel. The runtime system is responsible for processing ABAP statements, controlling the flow logic of screens, and responding to events. In this respect, it can be seen as a virtual machine comparable with a Java VM. Runtime system provides interface to the database and buffering of frequently used data. A transaction in SAP terminology is the execution of a program. For instance, the A01 is the transaction code for create sales order. They can also be started by entering the transaction code directly into a command field. The command field is present in every SAP screen. They can also be started by entering the transaction code directly into a command field. The command field is present in every SAP screen. There are two types of ABAP programs. Executables could be run by users. 
non-executables components are used in other Rebut programs. There are two types of executable programs. Reports. Module pools. Reports follow a relatively simple programming model. The term report can be somewhat misleading in that reports can also be designed to modify data. Module pools define more complex patterns of user interaction. Using a collection of screens. The term screen refers to the actual, physical image that the user sees. Each screen also has a flow logic, which refers to the ABAP code, implicitly invoked by the screens. The non-executable program types are, include modules, subroutine pools, function groups, object classes, interfaces, type pools. For more training videos please visit zerotoprotraining.com.